Hello. Okay. All right, this is Kent yes. R&D for Mackie. We're here at NAMM 2013. And Lauren, this video is for you. He is now demoing the awesomeness of their DL Mixer Series. DL 806, so it's the eight channel, six out uh, mixer. Well, we have four mm -hmm. aux outs, two main outs, left, right. Right, and they also have a 16 channel version which has all the same capabilities. You just Except decide. you get two more ah. auxes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And so basically, um, you know, as you can see, you have access to all eight of your channels, and while mm -hmm. you're scrolling left or right, your mains, as well as your auxes, are always stable, so that you can always change the level, you know, that's always uh, shown. Okay. And then for each different channel, you have the choice, well, you have EQ settings, you can have a modern setting, where you have full control, or of, of the frequency, yeah, the frequency. What, what, what you're cutting or boosting, right? exactly. And then the vintage one is set up more like a, you know, a Neve style, where you actually just have um, different bands of EQ settings that you have, you know, presets, if you will, mm -hmm. between wide and narrow. And then if we go up, why would someone want to use the vintage one? Just as it's just what something they're more, they're what they're more to. comfortable with. Exactly, that's one of the but requests seems, that we've had with our customers. Seems to me you have you can really dial in that bandwidth with the modern EQ and it, also uh, the, also the Q width of the uh, exactly. So yeah, why, you have, uh, to me it's like what's well, a no brainer? Some, why just like some yeah. people don't. Some people are really used to the old type of controls, and that's huh. why you okay. know both on your gate and your uh, compression, you can have vintage ones. And okay. this changes the way that the mixer reacts, just like the old ones reacted, uh -huh. right? So it's not the same as the modern methodology. And then, of course, you have access to reverb and delay, both your sends and your returns. What are these uh, illustrations here? Uh, this is the re cloud reverb? Yeah. He heavenly reverb? Is that exactly. <laughs> well, we've got, you know, hall. We got hall reverb okay. and our delay, you know, you and can have can ping cavernous pong. reverb. Exactly. Ping so, pong reverb. Exactly. Just okay. so you can, you know, show kind of what uh, your settings are in terms of okay. effects. And then of course on your mains you have full access to uh, EQ thirty three band that you can draw 33 your thirty-three band. Yeah. Phew. That, that you was, can have as well high. as if you want to tweak each EQ setting, you know. Dear Lord. You can do that as well as going a little 2x so that it's slightly larger, so you have a little more fine tuning control on your EQ curves. Is any other company doing anything close to like what this can do? Uh, you know, I, I'm sure people are doing things like that, but I think we've got the best solution in terms of a live sound mixer. Uh, now, here's a question. I hope, hope it's not a dumb one. The iPad handles all the the interfacing that you're yeah. doing, all the it's, stuff you want to tell just, the mixer to do. Yeah, it's Except just... Except for these uh, brick and mortar, are these gained in, uh, knobs up here at the top? Yes, they are. Yep. So why is it, and I hope this isn't a dumb question, that those are those are sort of hardwired or whatever the word is into the device and the iPad is going to control on different screens all the other knobs? Well, and basically, so it's, this is kind of the in-between device. Um, in terms of going fully digital, mm -hmm. digital gain control is a different level and would uh -huh. make the mixer a lot more expensive. I see. Not to mention our customers are used to setting their gain control. Uh -huh. It's kind of a set and forget. Uh -huh. You rarely go back and start messing with your gain. Right. Right. So once you've set your gain appropriately, then you can take the iPad out and then you can start to mix from anywhere. I see. Yeah. Okay. And. It's a wireless thing that sends a wireless signal. Well, to you have to you have to uh, plug in your own router. So we've got Ethernet cable going to a router in back. Uh huh. And then from the router, it sends out the wireless. But all the mixing is actually done within the device. These okay. are only just it um, it interface devices. None of the uh, number crunching for DSP or anything like that is done on iOS devices, they're actually, it's all done within the mix engine. Right, okay. 
So the, 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 you send the command from the iPad, but the, but the actual data change happens within yeah, the unit. Yeah, definitely. And then the unit sends that data change back out wirelessly to Yeah, and it, to your, and it updates channels. all of these as well. Unbelievable. So that if you were to, say, take a picture for, say, channel, let's see, say we wanted to change this channel and we wanted to use an image, you could, uh, let's see, let's turn it around. Take a picture of me. <laughs> hello. And me. Hello. Exactly. Use that picture. It would then update on the box and then it would show it should be coming up on oh the iPad. Oh my goodness, so instead of kick drum on channel three, it has it, it As says, well as it's updated to the iPad mini because they're oh all Lord. connected. So you have a, a, a visual picture if you're playing with a guy that you only gig with uh, once or twice exactly. a year and you go, it's what's his name with the mustache that plays tenor sax. Exactly, and okay. then you, you save, <laughs> you can save your shows through a snapshot, oh, you have Lord. 99 um, places, memory spots to save shows. Uh -huh. And then when you save the show, it saves all your icons and all your settings. It's like a scene. It's yes, saving a scene. It, it's basically a scene. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Unbelievable. And now the individual musicians would mix from either a. Is this now or is that it's coming out with the new software update? Uh, we'll be out in February. So but but you can right now with the iPad okay, so and the iPad. So with iP currently, uh, as we speak, January 27, 2013, the musicians can mix with any iPad. Coming in a month or so, they can mix with any iPhone or iPod, uh, as long as it's touch. Well, the thing is that these are more <laughs> like acting as peripherals. The thing that you do not get, so there are two different apps. There's My Fader and Master Fader, which is the iPad-based things. Right now, you cannot have any, you don't get control of EQ with the iPod and iPhone. So okay. they're mainly just used peripheral. You can still change the mix, but you can't dial in your EQs with the iPhone or iPod yet. Okay, uh, but you will be able to in February? Not, not in February, we're oh. working on Okay, so that's still yeah, something you would so have to this tell is, the main person, like, hey, I need more treble, I need more bass, I need, there's a mid-range hum. Well, or done. else you would just dial it in with the iPad. You have the guy come over, you dial it in, or else you dial it in if you have right, an assuming, iPad Right, assuming that person's cool with you, like, exactly. touching their well, toy. Exactly, that's, well, that's the thing, right? So I like what you are saying before, you can, you can sort of decide what con level of control you're going to have each musician have exactly say and you, you decide in your mind okay I'm gonna allow them to adjust this but not that right so if you're front of house you kind of you get to call the shots right yeah well that's, <laughs> that, that hasn't changed right and that's as it right should but be. I mean it's a lot more capability. Have somebody steer the ship right but a lot more capability than uh, you had before in terms of being able to control say your monitor mix the way that you like it instead of yelling at right. the front of house guy Hey man, more kick drum or whatever. Yeah, you can more just turn it out yourself. And right. This is uh, and then now, but the big breakthrough with this because I've played in situations where you got the the little stand uh, adjuster and you dial in your monitor mix, but this is wireless. Right, it's totally wireless. Wireless and now can can the scenes? I hope this is a good question again. Can the scenes be saved by the individual musicians? So when okay, I look on my gig calendar on Saturday, I'm playing with the Jimmy Joe Bob band at the country club. I dial up that scene and all the other musicians are there, like, is that yes or no? If you have not locked them out, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, because both of these can be used as, like, the main mixer, if you will. Okay. Since both have the same control, unless you lock it down. Wonderful. I can't think of any other questions to ask that's been brilliant. I'm going on 10 minutes here. <laughs> oh, gosh. Thank you, Kent. You bet. This is Joe Valeri for nobody in particular, signing off. Thanks. <laughs> All right.